Hello and welcome to Starburst Magazine here on the YouTube. I'm Andrew Pollard, the online editor and one of the lead writers here at Starburst Magazine. And today we have got a doozy for you. Uh, you'll have noticed over the last couple of weeks that, uh, and months that we are finally embracing technology and getting some more video content out here for you guys. There's been lots of people clamoring for that for years. We've been toying with the idea for years. And finally, this thing that's going on right now is kind of <laughs> finally, thankfully, giving us the kick in the backside that we need. Um, you'll have seen some interviews here on, on Starburst Magazine here on YouTube. You'll have seen some news stories. You'll have seen an unboxing of a severed head. That was a fake severed head, of course. That was the Deadpool Hasbro severed head, which Mr. Chris Hayes, our editor at large, uh, fully analysed in an absolutely brilliant video, which you should check out as soon as possible if you've not done that. Today, though, we've got something a little bit different. Again, it is an unboxing. Now, Unboxings, I'm always a bit like, oh, these these always seem quite interesting. Just watching somebody just digging through a load of goodies and seeing what is in there. Um, but there's a twist to this one today for the unboxing that we're doing is for a prize that one of you lucky, I guess, viewers slash readers, because I'm sure you read the magazine on our website too, starburstmagazine.com. Um, uh, yeah, it's the prize that you can actually win. Now, you won't be winning the prize that I'll be getting my murky little paws into, of course. There is an unboxed, ready-to-go, sealed, ready-to-be-sent-out to, be sent out to a, a prize winner, which we'll, uh, we'll put the competition details underneath this video so you can hopefully win yourself a crack at this. Uh, it is, uh, well, there was a recent documentary out called Nail in the Coffin, the, the Fall and Rise of Vampiro. Uh, now, Chris Jackson covered it here and, and reviewed it, gave it a, a four out of five review here on, on our website on starburstmagazine.com. Um, I've seen it myself and it is absolutely phenomenal. Now, it is about a wrestler called Vampiro, Ian Hutchinson, who is an absolute icon of the, the wrestling business in, in Mexico and beyond. Some people may remember him from a, a stint in WCW in the, the late 90s. Uh, but this is not your normal wrestling documentary. In fact, it's not even a wrestling documentary. It's just the story of a father and well, a doting father and his teenage daughter and the father just happens to be a wrestler it's, it's this this um this i guess a look at the relationship between father and daughter just with pro wrestling as the backdrop and it is absolutely phenomenal I, I must have seen it maybe five six maybe seven times now um and yeah it's absolutely brilliant and the great guys over at epic pictures dread presents which is their the, the line of epic pictures and also raven banner the, the production company behind it and director michael past we've been sent this brilliant brilliant promo box for nail in the coffin the fall and rise of vampiro and we're going to take a little look at that now, but one of you will get to win this. Well, like I said, not this exact one, because this one's from me, and it's, I'm, I'm absolutely chuffed with this. But one of you will get to win one of these very boxes. So keep your eyes peeled below in the description here for full details on how to enter the competition, where to enter the competition, and what you need to do to possibly win one of these goodies. Now, to that unboxing. Da -da -da -da. Right. First things first, and, and hopefully this works all right, because as so many people are doing these days, I may have a stack of, of boxes and, and DVDs and whatnot to prop up what I'm recording this on, uh, just for better quality, because the last video I did, I thought, the video was cool, I was happy with it, but the quality, my webcam ain't the best on my laptop, so now, good old mobile phone to the rescue. But the first thing we should look at is the box. Look at that. Absolutely a thing of beauty. That is, of course, Vampiro, Ian Hodgkinson on the front there. Uh, this is the box, the promo box for, well, this is for Nail in the Coffin, the rise and fall of Vampiro. So let's open this badger up. So we've got a nice little, uh, nice little foes open, a little bit like a, uh, a little bit like a shoebox, a little bit like uh, if you've had like, I don't know, a wrestle crate or uh, uh, the ones that Zavi do, I can't remember what they're called now. The Zavi crate, we'll call it. Um, yeah, if you've had anything like that over the last few years, it's, it's the same kind of setup for that. It just pops open like so. First and foremost, we are greeted from a letter that is from, well, it's it's from Dread, who, uh, like I said, uh, they're the, the guys, um, well, that's, that's the arm of Epic Pictures um, who are behind this release. Um, obviously, like I said, Raven Banner, the, the, uh, the production company, and Michael Pass of Raven Banner is the director. And in this letter is a little, uh, it's, well, there's a little message from Michael Pass. And also there's, there's, I guess, not an ask, but an instruction to share the love for this on, on social media. Otherwise, Vampiro will come and kick your ass. And trust me, that dude, he'll do some damage. Um, oh, we got a nice little, nice little bit of red sash underneath there. And this is where the goodies, crunchy, crunchy. This is where the goodies are. Now, what's this? What's this here? Oh, I believe we have a couple of, yes, that is very Vampiro. We have a couple of badges. The first one, as you can see there, that is Vampiro. 
giving a, a nice gesture for you all over there, channeling his inner Steve Austin. Um, yeah, or oh, just such a such a, an entertaining guy, Vampiro, Ian Hodgkinson. Um, and this documentary uh, tells that perfectly. There's also, also a nice little nail in the coffin there, a badge as well we have. Nice little rattling around there. We have some more goodies. This is a poster that is obviously sealed. Um, that looks, uh, that I believe that is the front cover, or well, the artwork, the poster for the, for the movie that is on the, the front of this box and also on the front of the Blu-ray, which there's Blu-rays in here. Yes, Blu-rays, plural. I've just spied out the cover of my eye. So first up, there is a copy in here of Nail in the Coffin, The Fall and Rise of Vampiro. Now, when I saw the movie, it was, um, it was uh, for review purposes through video on demand, uh, but the Blu-ray copy, which is in here, and I believe is region free, so brilliant um there is a whole load of extras that i am dying to get my hands onto get my eyes onto i guess because i'll be watching it i'm not just going to touch the tv that would be weird um so we've got some the, the extra or well, the blu-ray special features there's a trailer there's some yoga with matanza and johnny mundo now that sounds very fun uh, Johnny Mundo, of course, right now is it back in WWE is John Morrison. Um, you've got Kevin Cross, an interview with Kevin Cross. Um, Matanza, I'm sure that was Brian Cage in the end. Um, who, if so, he's in AEW right now. There's an interview with Kevin Cross, who comes across really well in this documentary. He, of course, is in NXT as Karrion Cross. There's an interview with Chavo Guerrero Jr. Uh, what a legend of the business he is. Um, Marty the Moth as well, an interview with him. There's uh, Lucha Underground Speaks. I'm not too sure what that would be. I'd imagine people from Lucha Underground speaking about Vampiro. Uh, there's Lucha Paranormal segment. Sounds fun. There's an interview with Cassandro. There's Guardian Angels Thunder Bay clip. Vampiro on Punk Rock because Vampiro, as well as being a wrestler, um, as well as being a businessman, as well as being a, a wrestling promoter, I guess, these days you could call him, uh, as he is also a punk rocker, very much so. Um, as you may remember, if you saw me at WCW, there was that, that there was the, the, I say the tease of things to come with Vampiro and the Misfits. They did stuff with them, just not enough as what people were maybe hoping for. Um, there's also Lucha Toronto, A Day in the Life. So there's a whole load of extras on here, as well as the, the movie itself. And the movie itself, to be fair, <laughs> I'd, I'd buy the, the Blu-ray just for the movie, let alone all the extras. I believe there's uh, over an hour, I think I saw online, maybe two hours of, of extras. So that's that's also in the, the thing, in, in the box, the unboxing that I'm doing here. The thing. It's a box. I know it's a box because it's called an unboxing and it looks like a box. It's right in front of me. Also, we've got uh, another copy here of Nail in the Coffin, The Fall and Rise of Vampiro. So two copies of that, which is, that's, so you get, you've got one for yourself, you've got one for your pals, and also, I've just noticed, this is also very, very cool, as an added bonus, that one I was waving around first and foremost, I did think, well this one's, well this one's wrapped, there's the, the cellophane? Is that right? That, that stuff on it, anyway. This one isn't, I thought, that's a bit odd. But that is because, I don't know if you can see that on here, this one is actually signed by the man himself, by Vampiro. So that is all kinds of cool. So you have two Blu-rays. Keep the sign one for yourself. Maybe give the other one away to a mate. It's Christmas. So let's give it to your pals. Give it to your wrestling pals. Or just keep it for yourself if you like that. Because why not? Let's stockpile stuff, <laughs> as you can see behind me. Um, and that's not even... Uh, yeah, there's there's a lot more than that. We've also got uh, a little uh, a little poster card there, just advertising when the movie is out. Um, and let's see the side of that. And um, we've got is this a sticker? Yes, so you can pimp that wherever you want to pimp it, wherever you put your stickers. I used to always put mine on my guitar, and then my guitar broke, my electric guitar. Really sad. I lost loads of cool stickers. Bizarrely, stickers for cheese was a thing I had a thing for. There was a don't be a dick. Lots of cheese. Uh, Super Free Animals won. The music, what a band! They're, they're reforming. Well, they have they're reforming next. Probably well, reformed ahead of a gig next May. But anyway, away from stickers and cheese stickers. Uh, yeah, uh, right at the bottom of this box, the final thing is a nail in the coffin bandana. These times that we're in right now, masks covering your face. What better way to do it than with a nail in the coffin? Rise and fall, uh, fall and rise even of Vampiro. Um, bandana to do that, just to cover yourself, use it as a bandana, use it as a little neckerchief. Mm, there we are. Brilliant! That's a really, really cool box. And you, as I mentioned, one of you out there will be able to win this box. Keep it forever. On, open it, leave it unopened, whatever. I would say definitely open it, because there's so many good, brilliant little goodies in there, as well as two copies of what to me is... I don't know, here at Starburst, obviously, we watch a lot of films, um, normally within the, the realms of sci-fi, fantasy, horror, and cult entertainment. 
And for me, one of the most enjoyable uh, and touchy things I've seen this year is the nail in the coffin, the, the fallen rise of Vampiro. Now, it's, it's we've seen wrestling documentaries over the years, time and time and time and time and time again. And it's normally chronicling the wrestler's life, their, their story to get into the big time and to to uh, the struggles to get to to climb up the ladder of professional wrestling to wherever they end up and then usually what comes after that it's normally a, a career piece almost a, a career retrospective or you have sometimes with see the WWE Network now they'll do documentaries on, on wrestlers who are still currently wrestling it's just how they got to where they got to uh, where they're at now which sounds confusing but stick with me but yeah nail in the coffin is totally different to that like i said it's it's the story of a father and a daughter just set against the backdrop of professional wrestling the dad just happens to be a professional wrestler but you do see ian hodgkinson his his journey his uh, his humble beginnings as it were and it's it's a dark story at times um the dude has seen some stuff should we say um i'm not going to give away too much in the movie because that will be a bit harsh but yeah he's uh the he, had had um, a fascinating life full of some really high highs and some lows as well obviously um and yeah just him and his daughter dasha they got it's just so it melts even it'll melt like even the the coldest of coldest of hearts just seeing how these two this father and, uh, and daughter duo interact and how everything is put on hold business meetings with with high ups at tv executives sorry my daughter's calling uh the biggest wrestling show of the year triple a triple a mania is, is happening Ah, it's all right. It's cool. Triple Mania. It's yeah. It's fine. While, while that's on, hold on a second. I'm just gonna take a call from my daughter. So yeah, it's just this really touching, beautiful story, um, and just it's. I say it's not your normal professional wrestling documentary because it isn't really a wrestling documentary. It's just like I said, it's a doping father and his and his daughter, and he just happens to be a wrestler who's done a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, that has been it. Go and give the guys at Epic Pictures a follow uh, on on Twitter, wherever. I think it's just Epic. In terms of the website, it's epic-pictures.com. Um, and you can order the film for yourself on there as well. I believe it's on there to order either digitally or on Blu-ray because it came out on Blu-ray just a few days ago uh, after being on digital a little bit earlier than that. Um, again, uh, go, and, go and give Raven Banner a follow on the Twitter, which is just uh, at Raven Banner. And Michael Past as well, the director of this, who's just such a nice guy. Uh, that's at Michael underscore P A S Z T. Um, and Vampiro, which is Vampiro underscore Vampiro, if I remember that rightly. But yeah, uh, just I cannot recommend this film enough. Hopefully, you get to win this box for yourself. Like I said, there is this one's mine, so hands off. But there is another one that is completely unopened that has still got the seals on, which can be winging its way to you, one of you out there. Just be sure to have a little nose underneath this video to find the full details of that competition and good luck with that uh, be sure to follow us at starburst underscore mag on twitter be sure to like this video comment subscribe to our channel let us know what you want to see what sort of content you want to see here we've all got ideas um at the moment we're, we're kind of we're just just 18 ideas round about i don't know if that's the right word i like to think it would be um, but yeah we're, we're just brewing up ideas of what sort of content we're going to have here on our youtube channel now we're actually starting to do some stuff properly on our youtube channel so expect to see more interviews expect to see some new stories expect to see maybe more unboxings expect to see i i don't know i don't know who knows we, we might get martin unsworth doing a little dance for you on here martin unsworth our assistant editor who loves a boogie so maybe he'll be on here dropping some moves uh, as seen uh, trademarked in fab cafe of course in manchester on portland street go and check it out when you can because obviously the world right now it's who knows when we can go to anywhere um crazy times we're in man uh, but yeah that, that this has been it again follow us at starburst underscore mag on twitter follow me at culture the left peg on the twitter i've been andrew pollard this has been starburst magazine and we will see you soon